Welcome back to WBNA Channel 9 News. I'm Trey. And I'm Sophie. Today is September 20th, National Punch Day. Punch as in like fruit punch or is like punch like you're going to punch me later? I'll show you later. Let's just go on to news. Today is salad dressing day, so be on the lookout for your seniors dressed up as Caesar salad. The juniors as Thousand Island, sophomores as good old fashioned ranch, and freshmen as Catalina. Ben and will be back in the cafeteria today recording, so come show off your style. Speaking of themes, tomorrow, everyone in the school is black and gold. Orders for Joss and Dreams will be taken during lunches starting Thursday, September 27th. Your Best Buddies group is participating in the Friendship Walk in Nashville on October 7th. They would love to have your support for their team by either coming to the event or just donating a small amount of money, even just $5. Please see the link on the screen for the detailed event information or to donate. Best Buddies is the world's lar largest organization dedicated to the ending of the social, physical, and economical isolation of the people with intellectual and physical disabilities, so be sure to come out and give them your support. Tomorrow is a big day for Mount Juliet High School, and it's also an important day for the veterans and service members. Tomorrow you will see a special display in the halls, and we want to make sure that you understand it. BNN spoke with Sergeant Major Clark with an explanation. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Sergeant Major Jonathan Clark. I'm here with the Marine Corps Junior ROTC Program. Today we're here to talk about what is commonly referred to as the Prisoner of War or Killed in Action Table. This table has a rich history in all of our armed services. This table is usually displayed at countless ceremonies across our armed forces. We felt it necessary this week being a homecoming week to display this table outside the cafeteria. This table is going to be set up and it's going to be monitored and manned by a couple of ROTC cadets, but it's also going to be banned by Mrs. Rainey's father, in addition to countless veterans who have volunteered their time this week. This table is very, very sacred. This table has very much uh, significance. Starting off with the white tablecloth. The white tablecloth represents the purity of intentions for anyone who makes that choice to answer our nation's call of arms. The red rose represents the bloodshed on the battlefield by our armed forces service men and women. The single lit candle represents the light of hope for their return. The dog tags represent any service member at any time because this could be our fate someday. If you'll notice, there's a lemon on the plate. The lemon represents the bitter fate of our fallen comrades. The salt represents the tears shed by our family members as they await our return. And last, you might notice that the place setting is empty because our fallen comrades are not able to dine with us tonight. Keep your eyes open for the missing man table tomorrow, and if there's a veteran there to talk to, step up and learn. We've been receiving complaints from our surrounding neighborhoods regarding speeding and illegal parking before and after school hours. Please note that MJPD has also received complaints and will be patrolling those areas carefully, so slow down. Tomorrow, the front office will not be taking phone calls or emails to leave early, so if you do need to leave early, you must turn in a note or have a parent or guardian physically come to the school to pick you up. Speaking of tomorrow, we have the schedule for parade day. You will start the day out in second block and go with your second block class to the parade and the pep rally, and then return to your second block until 11.06. Then you will go to your normal third block class as your reg regular schedule, and then first block will be from 1.16 to 2.10, and fifth block will be from 2.15 to 3.15. There will be no RTI tomorrow. And now here's BNN's very own Perry Howard with some important information about tomorrow's homecoming parade. On the morning of the parade, students who have turned in permission forms to participate in the homecoming parade will be dropped off at Charlie Davis Park. The drop-off location is located where the Red Star is. Students are not allowed to park at Charlie Davis Park. They must park their cars at the high school and ride one of the six buses leaving from the commons at 8.15 unless they are being dropped off. This is the path the students and the parade floats will follow as they reach the high school. Vehicles will be stopped with their engines off while students are loading and unloading. Students will not enter or exit vehicles while the vehicles are moving, and no candy or other objects will be thrown or given away during the parade at any time. This includes no candy to the middle, elementary, or high schools. Remember, no students are allowed to park at Charlie Daniels Park. Well, that's all for your news today. I'm Trey. And I'm Sophie. And here at WBNN Channel 9 News, we are in touch. So you're in touch. Have a great, great day, day, MJ. Good luck. Good luck. Quiet on set.